the abstraction of Weichi. Weichi known as Go is part of the abstract games. I and my brother prefer to play video games because chess was boring. But chess is not so abstract. Chess represents two arms battling. There's horses, kings. Chess is not really so abstract, but go goes terribly abstract. You put that pieces of two different colors in the board and you wonder what it's about. It, it's about war. Of course there's other explanations as it's about yin and yang. It's about balance. But war is about yin and yang. It's about balance. The secret see the difference of chess, Chinese chess, shogi, and go is the proverb. Chess is a battle, go is a war. Goals have a larger scope. In chess, in Chinese chess, each square represents maybe 10 meters. And in Go, it, it point of the board represents a strategic point or cities. It's a larger scope. For example, the difference. The, in Go in, in chess, you have different types of piece. In Go, you have only one type of piece. In chess, in Chinese chess, that size, uh, small, small scale of battle. You have specialized types. Uh, the types of Chinese chess is almost perfect. You have the general, the carriages in the flanks. You have the soldiers in the front. You, you, you there's, there's some. There's, there's some proofs that uh, ancient Asian cultures, cultures used uh, elephant, elephants. There, there's almost a perfect battlefield. In chess, it's Western chess, it's more complicated. It represents more. <clears throat> More, uh, more politics. There's, there's the church with the bishops. In larger scope, like war, you have some simple forces. You don't have different types of pieces. For example, it would make sense to send all archers to a city. They, they'll be slain. All cavalry to another city with walls. In in Weichi Go, you you have all say you have a force of combined combined types of 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 troops. For example, in Second World War, sent snipers to a front and and tanks alone to another front. They, 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 it's not make sense. That that's why Chinese the Go have only one type of piece representing a force. And in chess and Chinese chess, you have different types represent represent the the specialized types of troops. <coughs> For example, block in chess and Chinese chess. That's a small scale battle. You need to defend them. If you need to defend a mount. 
a bridge, uh, you simply put forces in their way. You see that in chess, in Chinese chess, you simply put that pieces in the in the in their way. But in larger scales, like in like go, you, how you defend the space of kilometers, kilometers of between two seats or strategic points and impede uh, reaching a third point behind this 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 behind this front you can't that's why you can put a stone even if it's a surrounded area of course if there's a surrounded area with no liberties it would be removed, removed, and would not make sense. But you can put put a stone even in a surrounded, completely surrounded area. That represents more what war is like. Uh, for for example, the now there's more 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 rely you rely more in motorized motorized types of 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 troops and and this may be you can block roads but given roads are numerous and in ancient ancient times like in, you see in the art of war you see they pass through through forest through the files it's it's impossible to block such large such large uh, spaces capture the capture in chess and chinese chess uh, it's who move first pro probably showing the importance of attack and initiative, the first strike. In Go, you surround completely the, the enemy, meaning attacking its supply lines and the, the incapacity of reinforcements, a type of siege. It's two different methods of capture. The, the end of battle, in chess and Chinese chess, shows a short-term goal you surrender the opposite general generally battle, uh, battles in small scale were fast and ended with uh, armed victories and another captured or fleeing in, in Go represents a more complex war with long-term goals war were longer and you conquer the uh, thing, then, then that thing was reconquered. It's like in, when you play Go and you surround the area but invaded. You gain control uh, of something but loss, loss another. Uh, Go represents more how war is fight. In her case, rare case, there is a total annihilation of the opposite por force. E that's like go. You you generally don't don't have a total annihilation of opposite force. You have to count to, to see who have more gains or losses to see who who won the battle. Okay, thank you.